Okay, here we go with my review of Transformers Classics Mirage. As you can see here, we have Mirage in his Formula One race car alt mode. Um, I think his alt mode is very nice. Uh, they did a really good job of folding him up and hiding any of his robot parts. That's a very clean looking alt mode. Uh, no, like I said, nothing really hanging off of it that kind of makes it obvious that he's a robot. Uh, let's go ahead and zoom in here a bit and kind of take a look at some of those features and talk about that a little bit. Um, you can see back here, one thing we'll start off with, first of all, on the little spoiler, it says uh, WitWiki spark plugs. Obviously, that's a call out or some fan service to spike and spark plug WitWiki. So that was kind of a little somewhat clever use there with the wording. Um, here's some other stuff on here. Uh, FP Racing. I'm not sure if that's any kind of a call out to anything in the uh, Transformers fiction or not. Uh, I don't know off the top of my head if that's the case or not. And there's something in here I can't make out. Something drivetrain. Uh, but yeah, someone probably other than me would know what that means if it means anything at all. But yeah, he's kind of got, you know, the Formula One kind of, you know, decals and numbering here. Um, one minor complaint, and that's probably about the only real complaint I have with this alt mode, is the fact that if you look in there, in the the window there, you can see his robot head. Um, but given the color of it, the fact that his head's mostly blue and the window here is a blue tint, you can't really make it out really that well unless you kind of really look at it up close. So it's not something that stands out, you know, very obvious to you on a, a first glance. <clears throat> but yeah, his uh, his alt mode here is very nice. It does roll pretty well. So that's that's a good thing. If we look here at the rear, they did a good job filling out any, you know, gaps or anything. Got the little uh, tailpipes here, exhaust coming out of the back. Underside, you can see it's very compact, very well folded up. Um, again, no real obvious uh, robot parts, you know, hanging out. So I, I, again, I just want to say that they did a really nice job with that as far as, you know, concealing his robot mode. Um, let's kind of pan down there. As far as transformation goes, let's get it started and take a look at that. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is pop off this front uh, spoiler or fin or whatever it is. And that just unpegs here from the underside. So just take that. That's actually going to be his little weapon. Um, if there is another complaint I have with his alt mode or the figure in general, it is the fact that this part of the car is a weapon. So in a sense, it kind of sucks that if you lose this, you're kind of losing the front end of the car. You know, it's a part of the car kind of defines the Formula One look there with the spoiler like in the front or the air scoop or whatever it is. So yeah, that, that's the only other really complaint I would have. <clears throat> and to continue on here, let's kind of move this up there. Uh, what you want to do is kind of unhook this spoiler in the back if you can. Let's see, just kind of pull it apart there. And it's on little ball joints. And here's his legs here. You'll kind of see in there they peg in. Just kind of separate that if you can. And really all you got to do is kind of just lift this whole part back like so and just kind of unfold everything. And there's another hinge back here and just fold it down. And do the same on this side here like so. And that's pretty much his legs there. And you just kind of, it's just a matter of adjusting these spoilers up in here like that to form his feet. Um, it does have the Autobot rub symbol there. So that's a nice little feature. Um, as you can kind of see, the transform transformation is pretty simple, um, but it's very effective and it does a good job of, you know, transforming him. Um, let's turn him back around here. And right here is his arms, if you can't already tell. And they do have a little post here that hold him in place, so that's, that's good. But basically, you just kind of pop these out from that little slot in there, like that. And then you can just kind of rotate those around like so. Let's move that up a little bit more. He's starting to fill out here. Um, and yeah, just kind of unfold everything here. 
and his hands are in here. There's some little tabs here, I think. You just kind of grab that and flip out his hand or his fists. And let's just kind of straighten that out. Let's get his other fist here if we can. Pop that out. This one's a little stiff, doesn't want to kind of come out. There we go. And right here is his shoulder joint. It's on a ball joint, so just kind of fold it out of there. It kind of snaps in there, so just kind of fold it out and up. Um, and you want to turn his whole waist around. Okay. And then the next part is this here will actually become his chest. This area right in here. And this just kind of rotates around in on itself. So you just kind of, like I said, rotate that around. Like so. And let's see, his head is actually up in here. And this part, and this will actually separate from this little wheelbase in here in the front, whatever it is, wheel well, and that bends down, and there's his head, and then you just got to kind of rotate all this, let's move his arms out of the way so they don't hit those tires, and kind of just bend it down like that, and fold that down till it meets there in his chest slash abdomen area, and there you go, you pretty much have Mirage in his robot mode right there. Does kind of have like look kind of like he's leaning back there a little bit, um, just kind of the nature of him there. But yeah, he's very slender. He stands really well. Um, just kind of straighten him out here a bit. Let's move him back and let's take a look at him there. And there he is. Let's pan out a bit. There he is in his robot mode, and here is his little cannon or handgun that just pegs in there if you want but yeah let's kinda zoom up here and get a better look at his detail in his robot mode so yeah there you go um the only complaint I kinda have with his robot mode is his head it's a nice head sculpt but overall it's it's kind of a little small for his body I mean relative to the rest of his features and proportions I think they could have made his head just a little bit bigger um, I mean you know his hand or you look at his fist here it's almost the same size as his head so yeah I, I would think his head should be just a little bit bigger it, it does kinda when you look at him overall if you kinda pan out here it is kinda rather small compared to the rest of them so yeah he's got a little tiny head but um, it's not bad looking. But let's zoom back in here. But yeah, he's very nice, nicely sculpted. Um, I do wish this could have maybe folded down a little bit, but it doesn't stick out that bad. Let's kind of turn around here in the back. You can see the light piping in here for his eyes. Um, yeah, it's a very nice figure. He's very sleek, very slender. Um, he is very poseable. Has a good articulation. Let's pan down here at his legs. Zoom out a little bit. And he doesn't really have kind of actual feet. He does have the spoilers here. So they can get a little floppy on you. But they hold pretty well though um, in place. But yeah, he is a nice figure. Um, like I said, he does have great articulation. Um, let's kind of take a look at that articulation. Um, basically, he can move around the soldiers here 360 it is on a ball joint so pretty free range of motion um, this here can rotate around 360 can pivot at the elbow it's kind of like a double joint in here uh, the wrists don't move other than just folding in for the transformation um, I think he can pivot yeah he can pivot around the waist and his legs obviously can move and those are on ball joints so again pretty good range of motion here at the knees, those are again double jointed there, joint here, joint there. So you should be able to get a pretty good uh, range of different poses and you know movement with this guy. 
Um, so yeah, this is probably one of the better designed uh, figures in the classic line, if not, you know, the overall Transformers line. Um, let's pan out here. Let's do a little size comparison with some of the other uh, classics figures. Uh, we'll bring in classics Bumblebee. And obviously he's going to be a little bit taller than Bumblebee just because it is Bumblebee. But he's really not that tall of a figure. A lot of that height, I think, uh, that he's got is, you know, due to these tires back here that kind of stick up and hang out the back there. So that kind of gives him a little bit of an illusion of being a little bit taller and just that he's kind of skinny too overall. But not much bigger than Bumblebee, really. And let's bring in uh, Classics Optimus Prime. Of course, Optimus here is a Voyager class. Bumblebee and uh, Mirage are both, you know, deluxe class figures. But, yeah. So he's, he's kind of a mid-range deluxe. Kind of run of the mill in a sense, too. But, yeah, that's, that's his size comparison with, say, Optimus Prime and Bumblebee there. Let's take those out of the way. So, yeah, this is, a, again, just a really nice figure. Uh, both of his modes, his alt mode and his robot mode, I feel they've done very well. Uh, in robot mode, he has great posability, great articulation. Uh, his alt mode is very well. It really conceals any of his robot parts. So, um, yeah, if you can get a hold of this guy, pick him up. I think he's a nice addition to the Classics line and just your you know Transformers collection in general. So that's my take on Transformers Classics Mirage.